Welcome back to the Comics Arena. I'm your co-host, Evan Bold. I'm the, I'm the other co-host, uh, Big Bear. We also have our wonderful moderator on the call, Navarro Peck, um, oh. and our beautiful AD, score counter, and man above, Max Herman. Good and boy. Love you, Max. Oh. On the comedian lineup for the Comics Arena here today, we have, first up, he's on the Comedy Bold team. He's funnier than all of us combined. And he's got sick hair. Cameron Pearl, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Great to be here. All right. Next up, it's a man who walks around like he's always got ants in his pants. He knows how to dance. He knows how to prance. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Our favorite actor, comedian, brilliant man with a beard, Michael Worker. Let's go, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. He single-handedly has the largest collection of joke books known to man. But if you look too close, they might look like DVDs. His name is Justin Crawford, everybody. <laughs> hey! <laughs> with, a, with a face like a Nordic warrior and the mouth of a sailor, your favorite, <laughs> least favorite drunk aunt. It's a brand new Oh, thank you so much for that, Jordan. <laughs> That's the kind of introduction you get when you when you don't write them for us. I, I did say work. surprise me. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> surprise. surprise. <laughs> All right, so our first game is going to be start and end. I will give you the starting word of the sentence, and then each ending word of every sentence coming after that is the starting word of the next comedian. The first word is mice. Mice. That's what they keep saying. I got my hair. Mice. All over the place. They just keep eating it on those little follicles. Mice. <laughs> you try starting with mice, okay? Whatever. <laughs> you gave me mice. <laughs> you ended with mice. I am starting with mice. <laughs> I mean, I don't, we were not silent because what? you stopped. You didn't follow the rules. <laughs> Everyone ends their statement with mice. With exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's a worker's protest. I don't even know. Mice, mice everywhere. And all of them are mice. Oh. How do you like that? See? See? Now we're ruining it for our guests. You did this. Mice, mice, baby. I love mice. Mice <laughs> cools me off in the in the summertime. Love mice. Mice, mice. Somebody grab me a smearing off mice from the fridge. <laughs> oh, mice. <laughs> M mice are crazy because they're like rats, but smaller. So they're not rats. They're mice. <laughs> mice are clicky, but also blind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give that round to Cameron for actually playing by the rules here. All right, we're going to do one more round, uh, same order. The starting word is I. Interpret that how you will. I, a dine, is one of the world's most dangerous elements. Yeah. Elements like earth, wind, and fire? Ooh, September. September? Like that song? Ooh, I like music. Music to my ears is what it sounds like to live around a bunch of frat houses illegally throwing parties when there's a pandemic and signs all over campus saying, please don't do that. <laughs> that. Well, what is there you can't say about that? Everything is that. <laughs> unless it's this. Because if it's not this, it's that. It's crazy, words. Words are just noises that convey meaning in our brains. That was so woke. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know if woke is the right our word. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give that round to Brittany. You get our power up. You get to choose whether you're on Team Bold or Team Bear. Oh, what a tough choice. Honestly, I have to, after that truly beautiful intro, I just got to lean towards Team Bear. <laughs> oh. All right. No, that's is that, fine. Is that no, that's three fine. for three? 
literally, I have not been chosen yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to sell it next week. I... <laughs> it, re- it reminds me of middle school PE. What can I say? <laughs> no, you should have told me that. Or you should have told me I had the face of a Nordic warrior. No, you know what, Brittany? It's fine. Be on Team Bear, because last week, Team Bold won. And this week, Team Bold will probably maybe also win so take that okay you know what i'm not even gonna add the addendum it was by like two points like <laughs> I mean... even your trash talk just sounds so nice and polite <laughs> yeah the confidence in that and then we'll also probably maybe win too with all the confidence of the man who runs the juggling club <laughs> finish the bit i'm going to give you one prompt per three people so there's two prompts per round and it's just like a starter to a joke. You either come up with like a one line or a short scene or one word, whatever you want to respond to it. So our order is going to be Michael, Bear, Cameron, Brittany, Evan, and then Justin. On Team Bear is Brittany and Justin. On Team Bold is Michael and Cameron. Your prompt is ill-advised gifts from your mother. Mom, I don't need condoms. I'm not having anything. There's nothing going on with feet, trust me. You don't need to worry about that. So, have you heard that Justin Timberlake song, the one about the box and the thing inside the box? I believe it's, you know, it's a really funny song. It's called Dick in a Box. Mom! No! (laughs) Mom, I grew out of diapers six years ago. (laughs) <laughs> all right the next round or sorry the next prompt is the last thing you want to hear from your surgeon before you go under is this your first time getting surgery mine too <laughs> hope you're ready for a good one round one <laughs> man i really hope all of these blades aren't too dull for me whittling my stick at lunchtime this this jack daniels they came out with this new honey flavor i think you should you should try some after the surgery, but this stuff is good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna give that round to Michael. It takes a lot of guts to come out as a virgin. Our At Evan. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, I live that plight every day. Next round, first prompt: unlikely X game events. Oh my god, it's so hard to crawl like a turtle. Oh man. I have to carry on my back a huge shell and poke my head for it and eat whatever's on the ground. Oh, jeez. I don't even know. Drunk driving? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. All right. <laughs> Cameron, finish us off. It's a real tragedy. <laughs> but in an X Games context, it's funny, I think. <laughs> no, just move on. That's no. my favorite X game. <laughs> Imagine uh, practice. <laughs> <laughs> that training regimen is fucking serious. I'll tell you. That. All right, Cameron. Whenever you're ready. All right, a bed of nails sleeping competition. I like it. All right, the second prompt is rejected slogans for states. I'm gonna go Tennessee. If you're a man, it's not okay to marry your boyfriend, but it is okay to marry your sister. New Mexico, just a little less shitty than Arizona. California, it's like Blade Runner, but without all the cool buildings, just modern farmhouse. All right, I'm going to give that round to Brittany for incest. (laughs) (laughs) Thank God. (laughs) Our first round, last round. Things you don't want to see in the kitchen of the restaurant you're eating at. How about a Sasquatch? (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to go with mice, mice, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Here we were t- I'm going to circle back to that one. <laughs> A sign that says, don't put your feet in the lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> All right, second prompt. Putin's to-do list. To be as widely talked about as Trump. Simple. One item on the list, to keep Putin people in their place. So we have dealt with uh, uh, our foreign policy, correct? Okay, and uh, our economy is good, yeah? So it's bear sex time, yes? I can do bear sex time now. We're all good. Okay. Okay, I'll see you on Monday. Okay, thank you very much. (laughs) No question about it, Justin. 
winner of the round there. As we move into our next game, Omax, will you please tell us the point total so far? Yes, currently Team Bear is ahead by five points at 19 to 14. What we're going to do is move into dinner party. Jordan and Evan are going to be our hosts of the dinner party. They're going to ask you questions like they would if they were at a regular dinner party. They're going to go back and forth. Shouldn't be too extreme. Please answer like your characters. Drop little hints when you can. But they're going to be guessing on all of you, so don't be extra helpful to your own team captain because they need to guess on everybody. Woo! Oh, man, it's great you guys could all make it to this this sweet, sweet, sweet dinner party. Uh, just to make sure, uh, nobody brought any plus one. I have no plus one. I uh, brought only myself. Ready to party. Well, I was really, like, counting on this guy to show up for me, but, like, uh, he's, he's, he's a little late sometimes, but, but I, I trust he'll be here. I've got no one with me anymore. I used to thousands of years ago, but everyone's much more progressive now <laughs> into Christianity and, and fun. Uh, um, yes, uh, I, I, I invited the, uh, woman I love to this dinner party, but, uh, unfortunately she couldn't make it because she's such a god. She just couldn't make it. I have to, uh, do some shopping after this, so, uh, she didn't want to come. And then next time I'm sending out the invitations. <laughs> 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 I don't know who the hell you <laughs> It's so great being here. Heck, you know, just to celebrate you all being here, I'm going to make you guys your favorite dishes. What, what, what can I cook? Uh, like something atomic on the uh, periodic table. Something... Uh, with a little spice, if you know what I mean. I can cause a big uh, shake in the earth. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it's, it's whatever, whatever you want, man. It's, it's really up to you. But, um, you know, I, th- I think I should just, like, wait for my other guy because, like, he would know what to do in this situation. Um, you know, it's just like, he's, he's just like the guy with the stuff, you know? Preferably a couple of virgins slow roasted at the top of a volcano, medium rare, a hint of salt. All of anything, caviar, fish and chips are fine too, or a human skull. No, I'll just, I'll, I'll do uh, fish and chips. I like fish and chips. Man, how is, uh, how is the, the work week? Uh, how are the bosses? How's the, how's the workplace drama? My boss has been hounding me. I have a big assignment to do. This is for the fate of the world, he keeps saying. Get this. Get to your job. And I say, I'm doing my best I can, but you've given me a big job. You've given me a big job to do. And it's a hard, difficult job. <laughs> <laughs> so Monday was pretty good. Um, so I, I was like holding on to these guys, just like trying to, trying to keep them in their place for, for my buddy who I keep talking about to like show up and like actually, you know, like get them to go away. Um, but you know, like Wednesday was a little rough. He was, he was like 10 minutes late and then I, I just like had to pull out all the stops for those 10 minutes. And, uh, but, but the rest of the week went pretty well. Well, my boss is okay. Cause you know, I am my boss, but, all my employees have left the building, as they say, moved on to other bosses. They don't want to listen to me anymore. They'd rather listen to the guy who found some plates in the ground. Uh, well, my profession is rather busy. I do a lot of time uh, helping people and uh, healing people. Uh, there was this one guy, I ate his f- head. Oh, my bad. Uh, I ate his abdomen. I ate everything in him, and now he's dead, and he's never coming back. <laughs> Sorry, uh, yeah, and then I just wrote some prescriptions, and uh, that was about it. What's your favorite thing to do? My favorite thing to do? Ponder global annihilation, especially of the West. <laughs> Think of the apocalypse, Armageddon, 
other words for it. I can think about it all day long. I, I, I like, really like hanging out with my buddy. We just like keep talking about it. he's just the greatest. He's got this like really cool cape and like just like it's wild colors. And then, you know, I just like really just like chatting up, chatting up these like bank robbers and like car thieves and like hostage makers. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> and I just like to be worshipped, man. I miss the good old days when everybody would read my book, do my chants, celebrate me. Well, um, I enjoy a lot of things. Uh, uh, a game of chess, right? Uh, maybe a game of charades if I'm feeling up to it. But when the moon is out and there's no one looking around, you don't want to find me in a dark alley. You don't want to see me. You don't want <clears throat> Sorry, I should get going. The sun's setting. Uh, I, I should get out of here. Um, does anyone know any good stores to buy uh, rom romantic things? I gotta, I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Host, do you think you need one more round of questions? Or are you good? <laughs> Honestly, I don't think another round of questions is going to fix it for me. Yo, so. <laughs> we are going to be in the same spot. Yeah. All right. <laughs> So starting with Michael, who do you think he is? Michael's yep. a nuclear. Michael's a Russian nuclear physicist who's assigned with like creating nuclear weapons to destroy the West. He's Putin's, I mean, main main nuclear man. I I have I have the same thing. He's a he's a Russian. He's he's a Russian man who is uh you know pl plotting global annihilation in the form of nuclear weaponry. Close enough for both of you. He's a Russian spy who wants the nuclear codes. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. All right. Who do you think Cameron is? Cameron is a... Oh, God, I wish I had the specific because I know there is one. He's a, side... He's a sidekick. He's a sidekick. Um, he's a sidekick that can't, can't compensate without his hero. Which sidekick? I honestly couldn't tell you. Yeah. Uh, he's a... he, said... he said colorful cape. So I'll say he's a sidekick who doesn't know really how to handle himself without his, like big guy uh, around. Uh, I'm going to say he's like fucking, I don't know, fucking uh, Superboy, because yeah, he said colorful cape, but like he's a fucking sidekick. I don't know. He's one of the ones. <laughs> he's one of the ones. It's like a weird relationship no matter what it is. I'm sorry for you, man. I'll... Do you need right. help? Is he, he wrong? He hasn't made you touch anything you didn't want to touch, right? <laughs> Superheroes have the same standards. He is a superhero whose power is delaying bad guys long enough for a real superhero to get there. Oh my god. Ooh. That's, That's actually really specific. So <laughs> That's so specific. <laughs> Damn. All right, moving on to Brittany. Who do you think she is? Oh my god. Brittany is some kind of... <laughs> I don't know how specific it is with, like, Satan, but Brittany is an elder god who has n been neglected from their weird, weird, like, creepy cult worship as the Earth has has modernized and passed her, her by. To try to, you know, pull ahead in the lead here because I need four points, I'm going to go ultra-specific and take a little shot. I'm going to say just... that Brittany is Hades, specifically. Yeah, Hades is alive. There. Really? <laughs> Just an old god trying to gain new followers. Okay, so you, you freaking got a superhero that superpower is to delay long enough for other superheroes <laughs> to arrive, but you didn't go specific, you just gave me an elder god? All right. All right, Game so games. Uh, Bear gets the point on that one, Evan, like quarter points. I'm so sorry, Team Bold. I'm so sorry. Lastly, Justin, who do you think he is? Justin is, I was going to say Dr. Jekyll McLeod, Mr. Hyde. Now I'm going to go with a werewolf. Justin is a werewolf who wants love. I, that really threw me <laughs> off at the end. But I'm going to say Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, except he's in love and he's trying to figure out what to do for his baby. God damn it, Evan. Wow. All right, Justin is Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, who is trying to find Oh, a my friend. God. Does Dr. He's Jekyll and Mr. Hyde? Trying to find a his wife, right? Mm -hmm. Trying to find a gift for his wife. Oh, I see you, Dr. J. <laughs> Dr. J. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, he transforms at night. He does? Yes. Yeah. 
It's not like, <laughs> it's like when the night comes out, he becomes Mr. Hyde. And then actually, him. actually, you should really read that book because it's actually a mm-hmm. very, really interesting look into the LGBTQ plus like mindset at the time. Because pe- there's so much intense energy around Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, not because he's killing women, but because people suspect him of being gay and them of being two men. And like, there are a whole bunch of references to that in the book. It's actually really, really deeply interesting. Yeah, he's not getting boots, baby. I can help you get a gift. Come on. <laughs> ah, get you some, bro. Get you some. I bet Evan wishes he had read the book now. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't understand why he just went in too far. Like, Evan was just like, yeah, I got this. He was like, I was going to get it right, but now. <laughs> Let's just let's just rename the show the show on Evan, huh? Can we can we? Hey! Do <laughs> Maybe Evan, you should have known when you invited me on here. <laughs> okay, fine. Team Team Bear wins. Woo! <laughs> well, no. I'm, let's hear it from the man himself, Max. Let's yes, Bear Bear really pulled ahead there with 33 <laughs> to 18. That's what we wanted to hear. All right, Team Bear is going to move into the final round. Brittany and Justin, uh, I would like to thank. Michael and Cameron for joining us today. Please stick around. Please laugh. A <laughs> little Jeb Bush of the day. All right. So the final round is pun off. I'm going to give you a topic. You're going to have a few a minute to two minutes to think about puns. So the topic this week is animal puns. It's going to go back and forth between Brittany and Justin, starting with Brittany. My first pun. The wildfires are making life unbearable. Uh, you hear about that crazy party with all the lazy bears? It was uh, pandemonium. <laughs> with this pandemic going on, the world is on pause. <laughs> you hear about that long neck animal who's uh, late to work? There was a lot of traffic. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God I don't have crabs. Not a joke, just a fact. <laughs> uh, I saw this ape who was commenting on a bunch of OnlyFans accounts. I guess he was a chimp simp. <laughs> I'm not your basic comedian. I'm not like the otters. Hey, did you hear about that primate who escaped the zoo and was mauling people's face off? That was a bad boon. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if I'm sounding cynical at all. That's not mice, mice, baby. <laughs> uh, a grizzly had to tell his friend that his wife died. He said, I hate to be the bear of bad news. When are we going to tell white people that gender reveal parties are irrelevant? Uh, uh, did you hear about that flightless bird who who won the hockey game? It was a penguin. A seagull bit part of my lip off when I was a kid. Again, not a joke, just a fact. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I lost it. Hold on. There it is. There it is. No, 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 no. Fumble. Fumble. No, no, fumble. Fumble. Uh, I think it's... No, no. This, uh, uh, I had a, I had a bagel. It was kind of gross because it was a, uh, it was supposed to be a seagull, but I caught it in San Francisco. Life is really rough right now because I'm a dog, and when you're a dog, all you do is lick people's butts. I think I'm gonna give that Brittany for the anal puns and the callback to mice mice. <laughs> oh, thank you. That was close. That was really good, guys. Now let's give Justin a round of applause for that excellent pun off. <laughs> that was great. Brittany is our Comics Arena champion for the week. Woo. Woo! Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, for your comic Comics Arena champion of the week, we have Brittany to deliver you a fantastic set that's sure to leave you laughing for more. The woman with the Nordic face, everybody. Here is Brittany. <laughs> Uh, Thank you so much, Evan. So if you couldn't tell by the fact that we're all willingly using Zoom software, it's the coronavirus, which means it's a bad time to be an anti-vaxxer and an even worse time to be a hypochondriac. For those of you who don't know what what hypochondriacs are, they're the crazy white women who see you 
like having a runny nose and try to rush you to the emergency room for Kawasaki disease. Flashback to five days ago, I'm laying in bed, my head is killing me and I, my neck is cramping and I know in my heart that I have bacterial meningitis. Um, now hold on for a second. Before you start thinking that I'm a hypochondriac, I should probably tell you that I'm a licensed physician. Yes, my dad is an eye doctor and that makes me qualified to diagnose myself and others with infectious diseases. And for those of you who, those of you who aren't on board with that logic, I urge you to take a good long look at the Bush family. Look at you, George W. Anyway, <laughs> I have bacterial meningitis. I even double checked with WebMD. Uh, so my boyfriend's asleep next to me as I find this out. I look at him for what could be the very last time since we're both going to die of bacterial meningitis. Um, and I do what any person in my position would do. I call my best friend and tell him that he also has bacterial meningitis and that he's going to die as well. And he didn't take that well. He didn't take that well. And here's why. Flashback to seven days ago, uh, I've been getting headaches and feeling nauseous every night for about a week. And it's key that this was happening at night because nights when I take my birth control pills. So my logical assessment was that somebody had poisoned my birth control pills and it was slowly disintegrating my organs from the inside out, of course. So I call my OB with this theory and she asked me the worst thing you could possibly ask a hypochondriac. She asked me, well, are you pregnant? You know how people say third time's the charm? Well, I disagree. I think that you have to take at least 37 pregnancy tests in order to safely determine that you're not pregnant. <laughs> and I wasn't pregnant, thank God, which both myself and my boyfriend appreciated. However, what he did not appreciate was coming home to find 37 negative pregnancy tests lined up on the bathroom floor. Naturally, he had a lot of questions like, why did you buy 37 pregnancy tests? Because, honey, I'm thorough. <laughs> I must admit, <laughs> there's nothing more exhilarating than walking up to the CVS counter with 23 pregnancy tests already in your basket to ask if they have more in the bag. At least that's what my best friend tells me since I made him buy them for me, which is understandably why he was so irritated that now after all that he was going to die of bacterial meningitis. Look, the moral of the story here is if a crazy white lady ever tries to rush you to the emergency room for Kawasaki disease, at least make sure one of her parents is a doctor. <laughs> 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 that was a that's, roller coaster. That's been my week. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty-seven. You are thorough. If you're wondering why I couldn't make last week's show, that's what I was up to. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a question. When you were at thirty-six, what made you think, okay, one more should do it? <laughs> <laughs> well, because it's like Jump. it's. A, it's important to have majority decision, you know? Like, what if it was like a split vote and then that one extra one would have like pushed me over? Right, right. <laughs> but yeah, they were, they were all negative. <laughs> yeah, they, they weren't all negative before. Well, I didn't you know that wait. when I bought all 37. <laughs> I, thought was, I thought I was gonna have a tournament. <laughs> How much pee do you have that you could do 37 <laughs> pregnancy tests all the By the time you get to the 37th, you could actually be pregnant from the first. <laughs> well, the good news is I was staying so hydrated with alcohol, so I was hoping that might affect my results. <laughs> You're not pregnant, but you need help. I, uh, <laughs> this has been the Comics Arena. Uh, we have had four lovely comedians on here today. We can't thank them enough for being here. If you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe down below. Leave a comment, whatever you feel like. Big thanks to Navarro for being our moderator. Big thank you to Max, our man in the sky. And uh, as always, I am Bold. And I'm Bear. And uh, this has been the Comics Arena with Bear and Bold, and we'll catch you next week. Comedy Bold. Like and subscribe.